So for day 25, again, I've sped it up for the kind of grooming ritual and picking up his feet. And I'm working on putting them in between, holding that longer. He's getting really good. And I'm also working in the middle of the hallway, not in the cross ties. So we're working a little bit on our um, standing still and ground tying. So that was really good. I was able to put his back feet in between, um, kind of in the farrier stance. So that was really good. He was enjoying scratches this day uh, pretty well, too. So, working on making him stand still. Make him, ask him to back up. And then move him forward. He's getting really good at picking up his legs now. Give him some good scratches. Really likes that. It's probably one of his favorite spots. And that was really good. And then it, there was music playing, so I was kind of like dancing around. So again, we get used to the funny movements. And so I headed back to the trailer. So again, kind of like how I made um, grooming a ritual, I kind of make loading up in the trailer a ritual. So I'm practicing opening the door. We're going to walk on the trailer there. It's pretty good. Give him a good rub inside. Hanging out in there for a little bit. So again, the repetition and doing, making it kind of like an everyday thing. Um, so then it becomes an everyday thing. Um, it's really important to do. Then we're going to work on backing up. Handle that pretty well. Probably one of the most important things to teach a horse, I think, on the ground is to really establish the backup. That gets them to yield, and of course, we know he likes to have his little um, escape maneuver every now and then that he likes to try. So we're working on sending him forward. That was pretty good. Good boy. Good boy. Very happy with how he loaded up there. Give him a good rub. We hung out for a little bit in there. Walked out of the trailer. Really nice. Again, kind of hanging out around the trailer. And shutting the door. Whoa. And he was super good. Now I'm working on um, making him lunge in a, di a little bit of a different space. So we've got my chickens right there. We've got the barn, so it's going to entice him for the <laughs> dropping the shoulder behavior. Um, but again, if I don't kind of practice this, um, he's not going to learn from it. So you saw like, he still wants to drag on that halter and lean on it a little bit. Now this is getting better. I ask him to yield. That was pretty good. Now I'm going to send him to the right. And now he's actually starting to lunge better to the right, which if uh, we all remember, he was worse in the right um, in the very beginning. So it's kind of fun when they start to figure it out. So he's actually handling this pretty well. And then he yielded. Now I'm going to work on a little bit of yielding the shoulder and working on our stop and back. We're going to turn on the shoulders a little bit. And you see he's kind of pushing his shoulder on me. So he's... We're working out a little bit of a conversation right here. So he wants to start to get a little pushy. So... There is a little bit of a fine line that we have to find between where he has to learn if he gets a little frustrated. We just need to think it through. So we're working on the shoulders right there to move away from me. And then give him a rub. 
and then ask them to back. That was pretty good. I'm asking him to move the shoulder to the right. He's getting pretty pushy on me. There he tried to rear, and then there he goes. Luckily I have my long rope. And so, for me it's been really important that I've had the long rope, because whenever he gets kind of upset about something, that's what he tries to choose to do. So, he came back. And now we're going to go back to working on moving the shoulders again. And now, see, he had that little hissy fit. And now we're going to go back and ask, you know, what moving the shoulders, which he does. I got two steps, so I gave him that reward. And he didn't push on me. So I'm going to have him take a couple of steps forward. I'm going to ask again. And then just lightly kind of touching and pushing just a little bit. just want him to kind of respect the space that I'm putting there and a little bit of the touch and then when he does it nicely it's good I don't think I'm asking for too much he knows how to do this maneuver already um, so I think a little bit of that hissy fit was just he wanted to go back to the barn and that was just too bad so we had to work a little bit through that so now I'm going to ask him to push those shoulders again wanting that crossover was pretty good. Very good boy. I think it's a good rub out of that. And then make sure I step him forward. Now I'm working on the backup, which that feels pretty soft now. He's realizing he's in a pretty good work frame. And then I moved to a different spot. And I felt like we needed to play around. So I'm kind of preparing him to stand up on him. He got a little worried right there, but I just gave him a little bit of a rub. This is just good kind of goofing around. Working on getting the horses to trust you, and then I jump off. So again, all that prep work before of getting off and on, off and on, um, helps them to not get spooky. And then we can practice a little jump off. That was really, really good. You really like standing still, so I can kind of take advantage of uh, that behavior to practice other things. So now he's starting to get really good. And that was super good. Gave him a good rub. Pretty fun day.